All right. Today is the day. Today is the day. Sun shining. We're out here at the shop. Gonna start putting on the lift for the Jeep. take a second to show you the uh, brake lines and why you have to extend them so this is stock right height and I got the wheel turn all the way to the driver's side you can see this brake line is under a little bit of tension not a lot but this tight radius here that's not good so two options you have is new extended brake lines which is the option I'm going to do or bend this line straight which will give you a little bit more length here like my Jeep it has a hundred and ninety thousand miles on it and these lines look like they're OEM so I'm just going to replace them So I wanted to take a second to go over some of the limitations for articulation on the front suspension on this XJ. Uh, limitations being something that will keep the axle from drooping as far as it possibly can. Uh, first of all, your shocks are going to be your limiting factor. Uh, after the shocks, you're going to want to look right here on this uh, track bar bracket and you'll find that this track bar contacts right here on the bracket so that'll keep it from drooping also what keeps it from drooping is right here I don't know if you guys can see that or not but the lower control arm bracket and the lower control arm um, contact here and right now with the shocks out it only droops about another half an inch past what the shock will let it uh, droop at. Your upper control arms don't really limit your articulation.
guys so I got the springs out and I was going to look at the new springs down here and as you can see one of them is longer than the other kind of strange so I thought maybe I got the wrong springs or at least one wrong spring so I contacted uh, jacket where I got got the springs and they seem to think that it's supposed to be that way. <clears throat> I call B. I would call BDS, but it's Saturday, and they're only open Monday through Friday. So I think what we're going to do is just install these springs. Um, one of the springs actually has an R on it, so. I think that'll go on the right side and this one will go on the left or the driver's side so we'll uh, get those installed so here we are on the passenger side um, I got the shorter of the two springs the uh, one with the actual sticker on it so we'll get this installed <laughs>
Whew. Getting close, guys. Uh, one thing that I won't be able to do tonight is uh, reattach this guy. Um, it's just way too short, as you can see. Um, probably end up making some kind of a disconnect on it. I uh, don't really see a need to put drop brackets on the uh, frame side, but you could do that if you wanted. I think really the only thing that's left is uh, reattaching the track bar. <laughs> 